Hi, this is Elle from Elwellpepper.com. Today we're talking about ordering praying mantis egg cases online. Why might a gardener want to do that? Well, if you're into organic methods and you want to keep the pest populations of different uh, insects that can interfere with your vegetables, if you want to keep them under control, but you don't want to be using a lot of sprays and different chemicals, one thing that can help is the praying mantis. For me, the specific reason why I got into praying mantises is to keep the population of stink bugs under control. And from what I've seen, they've definitely done that. You can order the egg cases or oethicas online. The best place for me that I've had the best results with and gotten the best value is by just buying from a reputable seller on eBay. That's where this box came from. And let's take a second and look. The Carolina here. Usually it's attached to some type of a twig. You can see this one came loose. But uh, most of them are still even on it. And when you see this type of a pattern, it is impossible to confuse with the Chinese. Here is what one of the Chinese ones looks like. Very unique. So I had three that this seller generously threw in as an extra bonus. I've already given one to a friend. And uh, what I'm going to be using are these guys. So hopefully this gives you a better look. So what's the real difference here in regards to, we see how they look different, but why might a person want to use one versus the other in their garden? Well, the Chinese mantis is the larger of the varieties. It could get at the adult stage up to 110 millimeters in size, where the Carolina mantis is only about half that size, somewhere between 47 to 60 millimeters. And so from what I've seen, at the end of a season, a larger number of Carolina mantises have stayed on my property, which is very small. And so I've had better pest control and they've really seemed more communal in my area when I was using the Carolina ones last year. So I was really happy with that. And that's why I wanna just keep sticking with them. I'm going to continue to give these away to some friends that are interested in the Chinese ones. But for me, what I really want are these Carolina mantises. Now, if you do decide to order some, you need to keep in mind what to expect. How do these emerge? Out of a single oetheca, you could have anywhere from 50 to 200 mantises, little baby nymphs that will emerge. So think about that when you're deciding the quantity of egg cases that you want. Now, how long does it take until they actually come out of the egg? Well, it's not really a matter of time so much as it is a matter of temperature. They need to be in an environment that is warm enough for them to know that, yeah, spring has started, there's food out there, it's warm enough for me to survive. So when you start to get to temperatures that are 65, 70 degrees, over a sustained period of time, three to six weeks, then that sends the signal for them to know that it's time to come out. So if you order these egg cases, these oethicas, and maybe you keep them in your house, regardless of how cold it is outside, in several weeks at room temperature, they're going to emerge. So if you don't want that to happen, if you don't want them to come out and then you realize you can't really put them outside because it's still cold and there's no food, then the best thing is to take and put them outside when you get them. Keep them out on the grounds. Go to little shrubs, little bushes, uh, small trees, and tie them up loosely underneath like a, a twig somewhere where they'll have some protection. And once it's naturally warm enough outside, they'll come out and they'll do their thing. If you wanna be able to see some, maybe you have kids, you want them to be able to see the little babies emerging, you could set up like some kind of a terrarium just clean it really well, have it sealed off while allowing them to get air. And then whenever they emerge, 
then you know you could either try to now get some food for them or you could then take and release them outside. If nothing else, you could keep them in a brown paper bag, but then every day you would have to open it up and check it. So once they do hatch, then you once again need to be ready to put them outside. If you have an unheated garage or maybe a very cold basement, you might be able to get away with keeping them there so that they won't just immediately emerge even if it's still cold outside. So that's some of what you can expect if you want to try this out. I think it's been a really fun, great experience and it's something that I'm probably just going to be doing every year. And if you use the praying mantis in tandem with other beneficial insects, ladybugs, green lacewings, just so many of these different things, then you should be able to find that you get some excellent organic pest control for your garden without having to resort to any nasty chemicals. So that's pretty much the basics if you want to ever try ordering some praying mantises. I highly recommend it and I also highly recommend looking into the Carolina variety. But uh, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If so, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel because then I'll be able to share even more with you as I get more support. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.